Welcome back to DXB today. We've had a fantastic episode so far, and you know what? It's about to get better. We've been talking about a captivating artist who is paving her way in the music industry and making headlines, and now it's time to hear from her. Katie caught up with Yulia Ventur, and we want to know what they talked about. Check it out. Thanks guys, I'm so excited about who is joining us in the studio. She's a singer, she's an actor, she's left her mark on the Indian entertainment industry through her versatility, and as well, having collaborated with some of the biggest singers in the country, she's gained popularity with her talent and cross-cultural appeal. Please welcome to the show, Yulia Van Tour. How are you? <laughs> Thank you, I'm very, very good, and I'm happy to be here today with you. We're so happy to have you here. Welcome to Dubai. I know it's like a third home for you. Yeah, exactly. How's yeah. it been for you so far? Uh, very good. Uh, it feels so good to be here because uh, I have friends here. I have, um, I have a place of my own and I uh, already have the ID, you know? Oh, you do? Yeah. Do you have a golden visa? Yes, I do. Yes, my bro. Well that's what done. I'm saying. I feel like home here, <laughs> it is you know. Home, yeah. And I come so often, actually, um, either with work or there are events, or you know. Well, I just had a show recently. Oh, really? A few days ago. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's go back to the very, very beginning because we were having a really lovely chat just before we went mm -hmm. on air about what a fantastic story and journey you've already had, because you are actually qualified in law. Yes, and I have that a is not where your journey has taken you. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yes, um, I was telling you that actually I wanted to follow the theatre school and my parents told me, you know what, you should follow a proper career. You know, you're going to die of hunger if you become an actor. At that point of time, you know, yeah. acting was not very well paid. and. Um, yeah, so I said, okay, now what to do? Uh, definitely, I, I can't, I don't have the blood to to, the med to follow the medicine, um, the medical school. Okay. Um, then I said, okay, law, because no matter what, I should know, right? Yeah. The law. Yeah. It will be always good for me to, to do that. Okay. And there, I found out um, there were some uh, courses, theater courses. Okay. Classes. And that was my joy because uh, I, I started uh, doing that and theater and I loved it. How old were you when you started in TV then? Uh, 19. Wow. Yeah, how many years back. <coughs> Shh, we'll quickly, we'll cut that out. <laughs> Let's stay in India for yeah. now because the, some of the musical collaborations that mm. you have done, you have worked with some big stars in yes. India. Tell us about that. I was lucky enough to... So you know how it started actually? Um, I was in India on my first trip, uh, second trip actually. And um, at the gather gathering, everybody was singing and dancing. They asked me, uh, can you please sing something in Romanian? I was like, clueless what to sing. I, they will not understand the lyrics. They don't know the artist. What should I sing? And this song was, uh, keep on playing in my mind, a carol song that okay. I used to sing for my parents okay. for Christmas. I was like, I can't sing a carol song to them, right? But nothing else was coming, okay. you know? So I just started singing. And it sounds something like this. La Bethlehem Colon Jos Cerular de Luminos Bracura Tanaste Astas Pe Christos And then this turned into Teri Meri Meri Teri Prem Kahani He Mushikil Dola Fuzome Bayana Hopai. No this, way! This became number one in India that year. That's incredible. Yeah because you got that inspiration from a Romanian Christmas carol. Uh, yeah, and then uh, they just uh, took it and they put the um, Hindi lyrics and uh, the song really did well that year. And then uh, Himesha Shamiya was the one who yep. who did the song. Yeah. And then uh, he was the one who actually gave me my first single as well. Imagine. I think it was, you know, what goes around comes around, you know. Okay. And um, yeah, I thought it would be one time, one song, but then it didn't. 
<laughs> just kept going. Yeah, I kept going. I, I think it just happened. I was like supported by people around me, yeah. uh, encouraged by them to, to do that. I didn't trust my voice. I'm telling you very honestly. I didn't trust my voice because my whole life I've done something else. I was a news reader. I was a TV host. I told mm. you I, uh, mm -hmm. I've done Dancing with the Stars. Uh, I love that. And probably because it's music and dance, somehow mm. I was... That prepared me for later on um, uh, working in Bollywood, you yeah. know, because it's all about dance and music. And I mean, uh, it's so dramatic, isn't it? Everything in Bollywood is so over, over the top and dramatic. I love yeah, it. Yeah, but I love it. Yeah, yeah I love it. You've got to be you know? in, totally. Yeah, in. exactly. So when it comes to when you come to Dubai and yeah. you travel, because I can imagine you're like you're spotted out and about in India. When you come to the UAE, what's it like as well? People recognize you still? Uh, some of them, yes, because there are many Indians here yeah. and um, uh, Pakistanis yeah. and uh, yeah, it happens, but in a good way. Yeah. You know? But then I understood that actually it's a blessing in a way, you know, you signed up for that the moment you yeah. become a, yeah. a public person. So you have had such an incredible journey up until this point. What's in the future? Oh, in the future, there is a very beautiful uh, project that I'm looking forward to. It's uh, a concept that I thought of uh, during the lockdown mm. uh, when uh, I felt like people need motivation, inspirational uh, stories um, because everybody was uh, down yeah, at that yeah, point of yeah. time. <laughs> And I thought of this concept um, to bring one character, um, uh, known personality, and that's Salman Khan. Okay. Um, he was not initially the, the, the main hero, okay. but uh, it happened. The format, I thought of the format initially. Um, one person that has proven that no matter how many times uh, you, you are on the floor, you know, you're like mm. down, you'll find your power, your strength to come back and you'll bounce back even stronger. So uh, Salman is obviously one person with an incredible life story, yeah. a journey like a, a roller coaster. So uh, he was the, the perfect um, character to, to tell this kind of a story and to inspire people, to motivate people, you know, to, to, uh, to go on and to know that the, uh, this lifestyle, the mm. Bollywood life, uh, the, the, the glamour um, is not uh, only that, right? The, it's not only about yeah. the good side of the story. Yeah. In the back, you'll, you'll see how many challenges, yeah. how many times, uh, you know, the person failed, uh, how many times the person felt like there is no other way, but then the people who will succeed will always be those people who will have the courage and the strength to come back stronger. I love it. There's so much yeah. good energy. Right. I wish we could talk all day. We cannot. Yeah, but I, I have got to. Uh, I want to get a little, to know you a little bit more. We've got a little thing called DXB in 60. So 60 seconds. I'm going to ask you little questions. Let's get to know you more. Are you ready? Okay. We're going to have 60 seconds on the clock, starting in three, two, one. Go. If you weren't a singer or an actor, what industry would you be in? Um, I would have been a, um, a therapist, psycholo um, psych Ooh, yeah. psychiatrist. psychiatrist. Uh, what is your motto in life? <sighs> I think go with the flow. Go with the flow, nice. Uh, who's your dream collaboration? Ricky Martin. Okay, Ricky, if you're watching DXB today, which I know that you are, please do it. Yeah, uh, what's your favorite pizza topping? Oh. I don't know. Uh, I don't eat pizza with topping. What? I'm sorry. We should talk about that. Do you have any hidden talents? Hidden talent? Oh my God, it's so hidden, you can't see it. <laughs> what is the most used app on your phone? Uh, WhatsApp. WhatsApp, yeah. What's your cheat meal? Cheat meals. <laughs> okay, <laughs> even better. Desserts. <laughs> that makes sense. Do you have any rituals that you, perform, uh, that you go through before a performance? Um, yeah, I like to, to, to sit with myself to, to, you know. Just zone in. Yeah. Okay, very quickly, run out of time. Why Dubai? Because I love it. <laughs> That's all we need to know. <laughs> Yulia, thank you so much. You've been thank absolutely you. amazing. Thank you so much. Guys, Yulia and I are going to carry on chatting. So over to you. What an amazing interview. Coming up, we have the, the singer of every night and day right here with us in the studio. And of course, we're going to be giving a lot of giveaways. So don't go anywhere.